Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It's a bright, glorious, I think, Thursday morning. I can't even keep track anymore. It was a fun day yesterday, but a very busy day. And I ended up getting a shingles vaccine because I'm old, and apparently that's what you have to do. And it didn't necessarily kick my ass, but I definitely felt the effects from it. Uh, my shoulder isn't nearly as, well, yeah, it's still tender, but it isn't, didn't hurt as much as it did yesterday, last night. So I ended up uh, just having a chill evening and I fell asleep really quick. I don't, I don't know that I watched an entire video when I was laying down, you know, like I do every night. So that was all gone and I had a weird night's sleep and I woke up this morning kind of delirious to having to have two calls that I inadvertently scheduled at the same time. Okay, so here's what I, f I have found. One, and most importantly, I need to read the damn directions and figure out how to use this new microphone. Clearly how I had it set yesterday, which I think on the first setting is like shotgun effect, because I didn't really understand the little drawings because I didn't look at them that well. And obviously when I turned the camera around when I was in the driveway, you couldn't hear what I, you, know, you could hear me, but you could barely hear what I was saying. So clearly that was not the right setting for me when I'm constantly turning the camera around both ways. So don't mind that, it's restarting with the update. Uh, so I redid the settings this morning. I don't have any like filters on there, you know, like I guess it's like a low pass filter or and there might even be a high pass, I don't know, uh, or whatever you call it. But I did set it down to the, what I think is the Omni so it's whatever's in front of the microphone and behind it, which is how I need to have it. But if I'm gonna have that Omni setting on there where it's collecting sound from everything, I might have to get one of those filters going to cut out the noise that I don't want to have picked up. For instance, when I was sitting at three ships and you were getting all of the wind blowing and you were getting the cars driving by and the jets and the helicopters, not that it's gonna you know, be able to get rid of that, but you know what I mean? Now, the other thing is, is that what I am certainly noticing, and, and it's just because I'm aware of it, because this is my studio and my office, is that both of the, I guess there's not that much screen real estate, both of the vent fans are going almost nonstop now because it's actually not 110 degrees out. And I might have to reset those, but every time it gets to 70 degrees, the air in there gets to 70 degrees and the AC's on, those things blow. Um, they probably don't need to right now because it is actually almost cool in here instead of, oh my God, it's so hot. So with those fans constantly going, these microphones are picking it up, you know, with various microphones that I use in here and definitely heard it on this one. I was a little disappointed with the wind noise because you could hear the wind blowing and you could also hear my hand smacking around the, you know, on the tripod that I was using. And I am not happy with that. That's another reason why all these wireless mic systems are so wonderful because I can put that DJI or even the Rode Wireless Go transmitter here. And as long as I don't have it underneath the seat belt and it's, you hear that sawing back and forth. But if I had that on there, it eliminates any reverb it eliminates any side noise. It doesn't matter what direction the camera's pointing, where I have the camera, it always picks it up and it sounds perfect. I think anyway, it's perfect enough for me. And, and I'm not by any stretch of the words an audio snob, you know, like I don't really care that much about it, but you need to be able to hear me and you need to probably not hear all the shit that's going on around me because that's distracting. You should be paying attention to me. So today I have to be a good boy and I've got to do a bunch of day job shit, which, you know, I like I ever want to do that, but I actually need to get it done. So since I had my meetings early this morning, I'm kind of going off of the momentum and I'm answering emails and fixing all that shit, but I got to sit down and do a bunch of stuff. And I'm not going to get into what that is because you don't give a rat's ass, but I, it needs to be done and I need to do it today. So that's what I'm going to be doing. It is gorgeous out again. So I guess I did misread the weather and it does show that it's going to be nice out all this week. And next week is when it turns to shit. We'll see if that actually happens. But today 
I mean, I'm not sitting inside all day. Don't get me wrong. Hell no. But I do have a lot of stuff that I need to get done. And if I just sit down and do it, then it's done. But before I go, I'm going to show you what I did with the hub and how I redid all the, the cabling and everything and, and where I put stuff and kind of why I did. So let's check that out. Okay, so here you can see where I put the hub. Oh, and I also made a mistake yesterday and I said that those were like lights. They're not. That's uh, like, I guess, a Kensington lock so that you can lock the hub down. Not that I would ever do that. And it's not like I'm taking it to Starbucks with me, but I basically put the hub there. That's the one cable that goes out of there and into the computer. And now that's the only cable I have to have plugged into the computer and I can plug it, unplug it. It charges the computer. It gets all the information from the computer to and from, and we're good to go. So the speaker system is also hooked up and coming through here and it's hooked up through the, you know, well, technically it's in the, you know, in the computer, but it's hooked up to the hub. And then I can use that to go to the headphones, which I use when I edit. And all that has been run underneath here and comes all the way around. And now I have it hooked up there and I put another one of those clamps so that I can hang the headphones there and we're good to go on that. Then I had to undo all of this cabling and redo it so that it all went together nice. And you can see down there, uh, there's the brick for the hub. And I have it go all the way across there into that power strip because the ones on the other side are all full. I don't have to plug anything into this computer other than this single Thunderbolt cable. And I don't even need to have the power cable in here. I'll have it there just in case, but for the most part, I don't need to have it there. Everything in this studio now is done. You know, Doink's got a little vine. I got the uh, master plan board up. All of the equipment, you know, with the new monitor, the new computer, the new hub, all the configuration is all set up. Everything is neatly tightened down and tucked away as good as it can be. And it's a real pleasure to actually sit here and, and work in the studio now. Not that it was horrible before, but definitely this is a lot more flowy. And you know me, I'm always about the flow. So I'm pretty stoked with that. Now, the big thing is, is that I need to figure out what the hell I can do to use this a7 IV with that Sony microphone in the Forerunner. So I have a couple of uh, additional fall cam connectors and what have you coming in today. So I think I'm going to try to figure something else out in there and see if I can get it to work. But if I can't, then I'm going to have to figure something else out. So we'll see what happens. But for now, I need to get cracking on day job stuff. So I'm going to do that and then we'll go for a little ride later. All right, kids, here's the deal. I feel like shit. That's why I'm actually sitting out on my patio, even though it looks like shit. And I just, I'm done for the day. I did a bunch of day job stuff all day. I got it done and I hadn't even intended to do it, but it's done. That's it. I'm not doing anything else for day job. It's 5.30 already. I tried to change the setup in the Forerunner to accommodate this new microphone and it's not gonna work. 100% it's not gonna work. It's just too high. There's no way that I can mount this with any of the stuff that I have or even the stuff that I bought that came in today because I, I, I envisioned it differently and it's just not gonna work. That's the bottom line. So I put it back together the way that it was. So at this point now, anytime I film in the Forerunner, it's gonna have to be with a wireless mic system. It's kind of a bummer because it is really convenient to not have to plug anything in or to have to, you know, remember to charge it or make sure that it's on and any that kind of shit. Now it's on the hot shoe. I can see that, it, that it's, you know, getting audio and yippee. There's one other challenge that I have. I can live with the fact that I'm not going to be able to change the Forerunner setup. I mean, it took me a long time to get to where I was with that, so I'll deal with it. But the other thing is that having this on the hot shoe, having anything in the hot shoe, I have to be careful, or at least very mindful, that I have something in the hot shoe that can snap if I don't secure the camera correctly, or if I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing, and I turn around and I slap the damn thing into the door jam or another person. 
So definitely don't want to, uh, let, me, let me do that thing where people keep zooming the camera in and out. So yeah, that's that. I am, again, feeling pretty crappy, so I want to get this done. I showed you how I redid everything upstairs in the studio. At least that went well, and it's perfect, and I love it. I'm just going to start blathering on at this point because I'm kind of delirious. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. Ow, God damn it. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.